Nature makes the most beautiful food. And who makes the best biryani in nature? Your grandma, yes. Your grandmother makes really good biryani because she has the most experience. She knows where to get the best ingredients. And just like that, the oldest trees make the best food. This biryani is basically the best of the food that nature can muster. At the roots of the oldest tree, you'll find the best bacteria. Why? The best bacteria is at the roots of the oldest tree because of the exudates. Exudates are chemicals that are released by the roots of the tree that order the best bacteria. These bacteria will make lots of food and then those bacteria will die and get eaten. And then the predators of those bacteria will poop and that poop is the tree's fertilization. Come on, let's make some nature's biryani. First step is, let's dig the rice out the ground. So we're just gonna collect the rice for our biryani. I like to call it biryani. It's actually called effective microorganisms or EMs. So we've buried it in our food forest under the biggest tree. So we'll pull out the rice that we made last week and then we'll dissolve it into sugar. So we've buried the rice underground under this beautiful mango tree. So we're gonna unearth this and get them. Okay. We're taking out the rice from We've, we've buried the rice under this mango tree because the best microbes on the whole farm are under this ancient mango tree. The rice is going to eat the bacteria and that's going to allow us to get really, really good microbes. Let's hope it works. Anybody order some biryani? Here's a rice that's been sitting in there for seven days in the ground. It's a little wet, we don't want to really have that. We've nailed it shut. But these are our biryani boxes. Mmm, smells good. Mmm, smell that. Smell like biryani? No, it smells like rotten vinegar. Smell like biryani, man. <laughs> okay, stop. Great sign, I'm so excited. Look, white fungus. This is a promising sign. Okay, I'm so excited, I can't wait. These have been in the ground and I've been waiting months to make my own EMs on my own farm with my own trees. <gasps> okay, let's see. If it stinks, we're in a bad position. If it's white, if it's red, it's okay. Let's have a look. Whoa, that's not bad. Danny, have a look. What do you reckon? I'll eat it. Uh, see, it does look like biryani taken out our rice we're going to mix it with some yogurt which is labs seven days ago we put this milk together and it separated you can see this is the top oil layer we want this middle layer here so we're going to extract the middle layer add it to our main bucket and then add our sugars we've left we've left fresh cow's milk to rest for, for seven days and now we're taking off the butter layer hopefully we can use that in the kitchen and now what we want is the labs underneath so we're going to extract the fat layer and then we will take the LABs and mix that with our rice and sugar. And our biryani is complete. We'll leave it to ferment for seven days and then proceed. Okay, disaster. Now we can see that most of our LAB is thick and gloopy, which is yogurt. Brilliant for biryani, but actually not brilliant for <laughs> nature biryani, which is EMs. So this means the milk was boiled. Milk was boiled, so we don't have LAB. We just have EMs. It's okay. It's still good. It's still a lot of a lot of microorganisms. So we're gonna inoculate that and proceed. And we got some butter out of it. So we've got our rice. Our milk was a fail, but we can still grow the rice. So let's add two kilos of molasses that we got from the sugarcane factory. And then we can grow this EM, inoculate it for seven days and proceed. This is the rice wash. Okay. okay, so here we have it. We've just added our rice wash. We've added two kilograms of sugar, 200 grams of rice and one kilogram of rice wash. We're going to inoculate this in a dark room for around seven days. And then we can take one liter of this, mix it with 18 liters of water. Okay. And then we're going to take one part of this and 18 parts of water, mix it together. So this solution will last us a very long time. 
So that's how we work EMs. So here we are one week later. We've got the EMs and they're nicely fermented and there's a really nice sugary smell coming in. So we think that there's no anaerobic bacteria. So we're going to take one litre of this, put it in 19 litres of water and spray it throughout the garden. And then the whole garden will get really, really good bacteria into the roots of the plants. So the best aerobic bacteria from your grandmother's biryani, from the oldest, oldest tree, is now available to the whole garden. I hope you guys try this at home. Hope you learned something today and I'll see you guys next week.